This is a Helicrafters SX-18. I've just been um, realigning the IF circuitry. I actually um, aligned it per the manual, which is a very straightforward method. But I also used a signal and spectrum analyzer to, uh, to tweak the uh, response curve. But I thought I'd just um, also show uh, the response curve plotted on, on an analog system here which is uh, an, a, an HP 8601A uh, sweeper uh, match, match with a 8600A digital marker generator and frequency counter and a Tech 604 monitor. So that's the IF response curve um, without the crystal filter in circuit and that's the response curve as I obtained it um, using the, the standard procedure for setting the IF up and uh, and just tweaking the final IF transformer slightly to get the best shape on the response curve. And switch the um, the crystal filter in. You can see there's a definite change in the response curve. So with the crystal phasing control approximately at the centre position. As I turn the crystal phasing control See the shape of the response curve changes quite a bit with a nice deep notch there. And then in this position we've got the sort of no notch but a very sharp response. I measured the uh, the peak on the curve at about 200 hertz at this position with the uh, spectrum analyzer. The beauty of the analog system is you can see the change in the curve in real time whereas 